right, SOBs, coming at you with a little bit of an older video today. Since my computer was messed up for a little bit and had to buy, I had to buy a new one. Um, I have a little bit of videos, you know, that are a little old that I haven't got a chance to edit yet. So this one, I actually didn't get a chance to do an intro when I was out on the water. We had a hell of a morning. Um, I went out, you know, with my buddy Dave. We left the house at, I don't know, four in the morning, something like that, like four o'clock. And uh, we were gonna go to DOD Lake. Um, right along the Delaware River. I don't know if you guys know where that's at. I've heard of DOD Lake, but we decided we were gonna go there. We drove an hour and a half, and we got there at 5.15, 5.30ish, and it was packed. There was some sort of tournament going on that day. The parking lot was packed. The lake was packed, and I decided that I, I wasn't, I didn't feel like dealing with it that day. So we, uh, we made a move. Dave brought up, you know, maybe since we were out west trying to get on some snakehead. So we went to Newton Lake, and it turned out when we were there, which was, uh, you know, earlier part of July, they were dredging it um, at the time. So that was just, just, it was terrible. Um, <laughs> it was crazy there. Um, so we literally ended up doing some Google Maps fishing. We ended up uh, parking the truck. Um, at a park along the Cooper River and throwing the boat and the kayak in there and uh, just you know breaking down a new water we've never tried it before um, there's some crazy things I noticed there anywhere that the tide swing there is crazy it was like four foot difference from high tide to low tide but uh, we got on a quite a few fish so check it out all right guys gonna start over here with the dog 100 I have never fished this place before all of our plans got messed up this morning so we're far away from home and we're Google Maps fishing random spot still kind of early we were at our first spot before the Sun came up but you know fortunately things don't go as you'd like them to always all right, I'm gonna try to chuck a swim jig around a little bit. Dave's got a fish over there. We got. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a little hole right here. Nah, that was in underneath the bridge. Nah, it was way underneath the bridge. Alright, I don't know if you guys are going to have the best view. We are underneath a very small area. But there is tons of bait fish in here and things are hitting the surface like crazy. Fish on. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he fell off. He was a white perch though. Sorry, I couldn't show him to you guys better. That was hard underneath here, but we're gonna keep trying. I don't know if you guys could see how I'm moving through here, but this is a very small section, but there's fish freaking out up here. I've already hooked into one. Fish on. There we go. Woo! Looking like a white perch to me. I don't know. We got a crappie. Yeah. Crappie. Nice. Check this out, guys. Nice little crappie going on. All right, just grab the ultralight and threw on. It's actually like a trout magnet hook and whatnot. So let's see. He's getting hit instantly, so that's good. Oh, 
Ooh, as I was going, taking it out, got nailed. All right, guys. Little white perch. I hope you guys can see that. All right, little white perch. Well, what'd you get? White perch. So there's just fish going gnarly in this whole place, in this whole little tunnel here. It's gnarly. But I'm gonna put this perch back. He's pretty small. There he goes. All right, guys. I got out from underneath where I was, which was underneath that little crap. You can see under there. Wasn't recording, guys, but another fish on the trout magnet. A little baby crappie. There you go, guys. A little baby. Definitely not eight inches on that one. Definitely not. All right, there it goes. Fish on. Oh, we found the baby crappie school. Ow, you little punk. All right. Another little baby. Another one on, guys. Next cast. This one's a little bit chunkier. A little bit bigger. Might actually get a size on this guy. But there we go. There's another one. Now that's a nice one. Fish on. Wasn't fully even paying attention. All right, this might be a keeper crappie. I think I got a snare. Oh. Fish on as soon as it hit the water. Now that one's a white perch, a little tubby bastard. Nice little white perch. Fish on. It's funny, I was just about to say, maybe I'll let this cool off for a second, and then boom, fish. Crappy. There you go, guys. Oh my God. Like a, at least two foot snakehead. He just like, as he got close to the boat, he went sunk down, but he was following up on this frog like crazy. Um, I had one follow me up, but I didn't catch it. How did they, how did they get you? <laughs> Fish on, yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. That's a nice fish right there. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. 
All right. Probably gonna whip the scale out for this guy. Jesus. All right. Swim jig back in the water. Look at this one, guys. All right. All right, guys. Here he goes. Right back in. That was awesome. Yeah, he'll be back in 10 minutes. All right. Let's see if we can pull something else with the swim jig. Oh, apparently I forgot to record, but I just had a nice bass uh, bite the swim jig and throw it. Bass in this place are hefty. Fish on. Huh. Wasn't really expecting that. Bluegill. Little tiny baby bluegill. It's a species four for me today. How about that? Hey you guys. A little real light colored bluegill. Bluegill! Alright guys. Fish on on corn. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's a catfish. Catfish. Got a bullhead on the corn. I honestly wasn't expecting to catch a catfish. There he goes. fish on last second he came up and got it little bluegill is that what you were catching bluegill there you go guys nice little bluegill there he goes all right SOBs that's it for the Cooper River trip and I'll tell you what, we had a hell of a day out there. It was a great time. And it goes to show you, you know, no matter what happens, like we we were planning something completely different that day. Everything got messed up. Went to two separate spots. Plans got messed up. And we ended up Google Maps fishing. And we still had a great day out in the water. So, you know, don't think about that next time you're on the water. Or, you know, you get out to a lake, it's super full or or any of that. Open up your phone, take a look at Google Maps, see if there's anything else good looking around you. And uh, very often, you'll end up be able to catch some fish that way. But uh, I'll tell you what, the one bass we caught was nice. I lost another one. Um, that one, I, I didn't record. I don't know what the hell happened. I just didn't record on my GoPro. Um, and we almost had that snakehead. I don't know how well you guys could see it on the footage. I zoomed in a little bit try to try to get it so you guys could see. But... Uh, that was exciting for me. I've never caught a snakehead before. I'm, I'm really interested in trying to catch one. And uh, it was exciting to see a, a nice big one. It was probably like 24 inches, maybe 26 inches coming up on, on my uh, frog like that. Also, I don't know if anyone else caught this, but as I was editing this video, I caught it in one of the clips, which I'm going to slow down a little bit and show you guys right now, right here. This, this the spider fell off of my pole after I came out of underneath that bridge and just jumped right on me and I didn't notice it at all when I when you know I was actually out fishing but editing I, I saw the whole thing I just thought it was funny um, but yeah I, ho I hope you guys like this video and I'll tell you what I appreciate you guys watching uh, it means a lot to me but if you like this video hit that like button drop a comment tell me if you noticed that spider before I showed you in the slow mo right there also. Let me know if you ever fished the Cooper River and how you did there. What's your experience? 
subscribe you can see all my new stuff coming out until next time guys peace